Hello and welcome to a new video of Pempot. Uh, we are excited to announce you the new beta release 1.14 which is available a few days ago. Uh, as we usually do, we will walk you through what's new and show you the most important uh, new functionalities such as a color selection, a shortcut panel and more. So let's go after it. Okay, so let's start with one of the most requested features by the community, which are uh, shortcuts. So as you know, shortcuts boost uh, your productivity, which are not easy to find and learn. So here at the left toolbar, we have this icon that uh, show up a handy panel at your watch space that will help you yeah, with that. So here you have categories and filters uh, that will help you to find the shortcut you need. Okay, so let's continue with color selection. All of the colors that are contained uh, within a selection like this, this I uh, have selected these three elements of objects. Uh, so this, all the colors of this element are showed here in the right sidebar, as you can see. So play with the colors uh, of a group without the hassle of individual selection. For example, I'm going to change this gold color instead of a green. Let's continue with a fixed element at the scroll. So now these new features uh, allows you to fix the position of an object when scrolling at the presentation view. So the only thing you have to do is to select the element you want to fix. And here you have the option in the constraints fix when scrolling. Okay, so it's ideal for prototyping, fix headers, navbars, floating buttons, etc. So if I go to the presentation view and the scroll, you can see that the mobile mockup is fixed. Okay, so here we have very useful stuff. Uh, we have improved the way to manage uh, asset groups and libraries. So now you can drag and drop, for example, this component to drop downs. Okay, until now you could uh, only do this uh, by renaming the groups or the components. So now with drag and drop it is uh, much more user friendly. So let us know what you are creating and uh, what questions you have in the comments below. Thank you and the open source community for helping us so much with your contributions and feedback. Penpot will continue to grow so be sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date uh, with the latest product and community news. Thanks for watching.